Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So for today's video, it is a Veganuary episode. And if you don't know what Veganuary is, it is basically a month where people either try out veganism, plant-based foods, you know, all of that, or people who are already vegan. I guess some people here on YouTube who are vegan, they do videos like every day or every other day throughout the month of January to help people out who want to or are thinking about going vegan. Sorry if I'm out of breath, I literally just got home and I'm like, before I put the food away, let me just film this video real quick or at least this part. Oh, I just got back from Aldi and I wanted to do like a little challenge and I decided, I would say this is pretty much a $30 challenge. Maybe a couple things, maybe like two or three different things I already have at home so I didn't have to buy, rice being one of them. We get like the really big um, bag from Sam's Club of basmati rice, which, uh, let me do the math real quick. It's about 17 or $18 for the bag, but there's only two of us here and we, that bag lasts us literally six months. We just replaced it maybe like six, seven weeks ago but before that, we bought the rice back last of January and it's lasted us till June. So it lasts us a pretty long time. So if you do the math, I guess we'll do $18 cause that's about how much the bag is divided by six months, which is $3 per month. But divide that by four weeks because this challenge that I'm doing is gonna be for a week. Divided by four weeks, that's 75 cents. 75 cents for the rice so I could include it if I want but this is basically gonna be a $30 challenge so let's just get straight into the video so this is my receipt right here everything that I got the total I was over by 14 cents but come on now if you want to get technical I did have to pay seven cents for the brown bag that I put it in because the way Aldi works is they don't provide you bags. You buy your own bags or they suggest you bring your own bag in. But I wasn't expecting to go to the store after work. So I just bought one of their bags. It was seven cents, but um, yeah. So right now I'm just gonna show you what I got just so I can put it in the fridge and the freezer, put it away. And then I'm gonna go upstairs and we'll talk more about you know, everything like my meal plan idea, like what meals I wanna make. And um, by the way, this is for two people for one week. I think I did pretty freaking good and the recipes are bomb. So let's get started. I got a, um, and just so you know, sorry, another side note. Some's gonna be healthy, some's gonna be, mm, you know, a little, más o menos, you know, so. Anyways, I have a pack of hamburger buns. While I go through, I might as well just tell you like what it would be for. So the hamburger buns, I'm going to make Sloppy Joes this week. Ooh, I love Sloppy Joes. We have soy protein vegan. Aldi is on some other level with the vegan stuff. I am telling you. I wanted to go sometime this month to do like a complete vegan guide or vegan shopping and like show you guys all of the vegan proteins that they have and I guess they have like a queso dip like so many different things but I picked up the flame broiled um, flame and grilled soy protein burger I wanted tofu but they don't have regular tofu they had like a marinated teriyaki one for like a little amount it was like two or three bucks so I was like nah so I picked this up and I'm going to saute it cut it up into pieces and this is gonna go in fried rice I got some cornstarch because I was running out and I need it for sauces, like as a thickener. Oh, I should tell you the prices as I go along, right? Gosh, I'm just so good at this, aren't I? So, the hamburger buns, 85 cents. The soy protein burgers, 2.99, and it comes with four. Not bad. And then this Asian chopped salad, which is super good. I know when Dixie has, in Publix, wherever, I think it might be the Dole brand, they have something like this, pretty much exactly the same Asian chopped salad kit. This was on sale for $1.99. Yep. And the cornstarch was 
50. The cornstarch was 89 cents. It doesn't matter because I mean this is gonna last me months and months and I do make a lot of sauces and gravies and stuff so it's worth it. I have a bag of Asian vegetables, Asian seasoned medley. And this was $1.99. Don't mind the laundry in the back. Those are clean clothes that I have to put away. Um, but this Asian medley is going to be for a cashew, kind of like Asian stir fry over rice. And this was the only kind of Asian stir fry they had. It's seasoned, which I don't prefer, but you know, it'll work. So that was $1.99. I picked up a pack of organic um, whole wheat spaghetti, which is easily two servings. Like we use half a box at a time. That was a dollar nine. I remember I was like, "Damn, organic spaghetti, a dollar nine? That's pretty cheap." And then these Haas avocados, a pack of four for two ninety nine. Two ninety nine for avos. Oh, and <laughs> who is the lighting getting dark in here? The spaghetti is gonna be for spaghetti and meatballs. You guessed it. Avocado is what am I making with avocado? I'm making black bean tacos. I'm gonna put some avo on that. A pack of corn tortillas. This is a 30 count. Holy moly! This is for the black bean and avocado salsa tacos. I'm gonna use it for that and I'm also going to make tortilla chips with it. And to go along with the tortilla chips, we got a nice big old jar of salsa. Salsa. Mild. And this is a 24 ounce jar of salsa. Very good. Corn tortillas were $1.29. And the big jar of salsa was $1.89. I freaking love all these. Hopefully you have an Aldi near you. If so, you definitely need to check it out. It is so amazing. I picked up some hummus. I was so hesitant because I really just, it's cheaper, much cheaper to make your own hummus. But the kind we like, which is roasted pine nut, I don't really know how to make yet. And I hadn't looked up a recipe and I kind of just grabbed it. But in the future, I'll definitely be making my own roasted pine nut hummus. Hi, baby girl. This was, this was $2.29. Kind of didn't really need this, but you know, it'll be a snack. We get like late night snack cravings. So we have a bag of pretzels already. We'll use hummus with that. And also with tortilla chips, just, you know, dip it in some hummus and the salsa. We have some sloppy joe sauce. And this was 79 cents. Abby, don't come up here. Don't do it. We have the meatless meatballs, my favorite ever. This was $3.89. It comes with about 30 meatballs, so we divide that for two different meals. So half of it's gonna be the spaghetti meatballs, or I might like cook it and then like break it up to make like a meat sauce. And the other half is gonna be for sloppy joes, which I'll cook, break it up, and then blend it, you know, mix it with the sauce, and we'll do sloppy joes that way. And for pasta sauce, we already have a jar from a sale at Winn Dixie like months ago. Not one, not two, but three cans of garbanzo beans. And those are gonna be for chickpea curry, but that's gonna make a lot, and we'll have a lot of leftovers. So I make that with the basmati rice. Last minute things, I have two cans of diced tomatoes for the chickpea curry and then a can of Goya coconut milk, if you'll focus, for the chickpea curry as well. Now the prices on those is, oh and I also got the, a nice, damn it you can't see, bag of yellow onion. I love me some onion. Okay so the... Let's see, the garbanzo beans were 69 cents each and I got three of those. I already told you the meatballs. And the yellow onions were $2.49. Coconut milk was $1.59 and then the two cans of tomatoes were 69 cents each. So all of this totaling 
$30.14. What I didn't buy that I already have is a jar of pasta sauce, which you can easily get for 99 cents either at the dollar store or Aldi or Winn-Dixie. They're very cheap, especially the brand um, Hunt's. Is it Hunt's or Prego? Like the tall can of pasta sauce. Very cheap. And what else? Spices and seasonings, you know. I'm not gonna count that. Rice, like I said, which would be like dumb cheap. Divide it, you know, the, divide the $18 bag, like, yeah. And I think that's about it. I'm going to put all of this away, especially the cold stuff. And then I will get back to you and show you guys exactly what I'm going to be making for the week, what the breakdown is, etc, etc. And I'll be right back. All right, I am back and tried to look a little more presentable for you guys. You know, it didn't really work. What else is new? Okay, so like I said, I did this meal plan to last us one week. Today's Monday. And my... First, I'll say that we don't really eat breakfast. Both of us work mornings, so we hardly ever eat breakfast. And we do have the same day off together this week. So we might do like smoothies or something light like that. We really don't eat until noon anyways. So our dinners for this week, my plan is, first I wanna tell you um, this app that a coworker of mine, a coworker of mine um, showed me. It's called Meal Lime. Not sponsored, you know, no promo, but this is a really nice app. This is what it looks like. Can you see that? Ooh. This one right here. And in it, it has all of these different meals that you can choose from. Not only does it go down, but it also goes to the side as well. Bunch of different meals to choose from. So you would click on a meal, like let's click on this one, and then it shows you all of the ingredients that you'll need for that recipe and how much of each ingredient you'll need. And there is like a pro version, like if you wanna know the nutrition facts of it, you'll have to pay for that, but the app itself is completely free. So I think it's awesome. There's really good meal ideas and a couple I got, a couple ideas I got from here that I'll be incorporating this week in my meal plan. So I just wanted to let you guys know about that dope app. So this week um, I chose from this app, I'm gonna do black bean tacos with an avocado salsa. Um, this one calls for like uh, tomato and avocado salsa, but like making your own and I just didn't wanna I don't want to have to pay for the cilantro, especially because we don't really eat cilantro here, so it'll go bad anyways. So we'll just do salsa and some fresh avocado chopped on there. So that's one meal. I just feel like I went on a tangent, like a non-stop tangent. Um, so that's one meal, black bean tacos with avocado salsa. And another one is vegetable and cashew stir fry with basmati rice. And that sounds amazing. And that's what that one looks like right here. That's the tacos and that is the stir fry. So I'll have that with the basmati rice. And I think that sesame, um, Asian sesame kit, if we don't use it for a lunch one day, we'll definitely use it as a side dish for the black bean tacos. And then the third thing was tofu. That's right here. Tofu fried rice with peas and carrots. Another thing that I didn't get today from Aldi, but I have in my freezer, is a frozen bag of mixed vegetables. You know, like the chop, the um, corn, peas, green beans, like that mix. We already have, so I didn't buy another one, but that you can get 99 cents as well. I've seen it at Dollar Tree. Aldi has it for like dirt cheap. Um, so yeah. And this one is tofu fried rice. But like I said, I'm gonna do the soy protein um, burger patties, cut it up and um, use that in place of the tofu. So that's it for that app. And then I'm also gonna be doing the spaghetti and meatballs and um, the coconut chickpea curry. It is so freaking good, like you just have no idea. It's so easy too. Um, I'll leave a link below of the recipe that I go off of 
Also gonna have that with basmati rice and sloppy joes. The sloppy joes with might do potatoes because I have a couple um, golden potatoes from last week that I bought. If you want to add everything together, like the things that I didn't get today, it would come out to no more than $35 a week for two people, which is really good. I'll probably make like homemade air fries with the to go with the um, sloppy joes. So those are all the dinners. That's six dinners. Um, one of them, like one of the nights, will either be a leftover dinner night or... I might whip up something from this week's grocery list. Like the pack of um, burgers, it comes with four and I'm not gonna use all four in the tofu. I'll probably only use two. So two of them will probably be saved for another day. And like I said, I'm also gonna be making tortilla chips. So that'll be snacks like chips and salsa. And we also have the hummus. And um, I really wanna try making onion rings in the air fryer. I've only made onion rings one other time, like deep fried, not deep fried, but like in a skillet with oil and the breading kind of just like, but yeah, I think that's it. Six meals, one day will be leftovers. So you can kind of count this as like intermittent fasting, which is basically what we do like unintentionally um, since we don't eat breakfast normally. First of all, we don't even go like grocery shopping on a regular basis. We probably go like once every, I don't even want to say that. We pick up things like here and there, little amounts of things here and there. We do a lot of takeout and that's not okay. Especially this year, I'm trying to save, you know, get a nicer place, all of that. I have vacation coming up, you know. So this is really good. 30, $35 for two people is a steal and I chose Aldi because it's the cheapest around and yeah I'm just really familiar with Aldi and they never let me down although the produce can sometimes be a hit or miss like sometimes it doesn't look too good but today was looking pretty good although I only got avocado and onion that's okay because that's all I needed I hope you enjoyed this little video you know showing you that it's not and it doesn't have to be expensive to go vegan and to eat a plant-based diet it could be it definitely is a lot cheaper than this if you are a healthy whole foods plant-based eater but you know some of the things I got such as the burgers and the meatballs are processed and you can definitely substitute that for whole foods you can do cauliflower or you can buy um, I don't know broccoli big bag of potatoes instead you can definitely do that so yeah eating vegan does not have to be expensive this was definitely a fun challenge and who knows I will probably do this next week too but come up with a different meal plan and Pinterest is amazing if you want to look up vegan recipes super super amazing um, just like go on Pinterest and search vegan recipes or cheap vegan dinners or whatever you want to whatever you want to search and there's some really good recipes out there so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are in this lovely world feel free to subscribe if you want to see more veganuary videos or if you want to see more of me and yeah i'm skylar by the way great introduction i know i'm skylar nice to meet you whatever your name is and um yeah, I will see you very soon. Bye.